So here we are guys at Lunia of the Lakes at Caria Manor. You can see here also on the map exactly where I am. And so I'm going to show you how to get through uh, this area, this part of the map, uh, the fastest way possible. I'll show you the direction on where to go exactly. And I'm choosing here to run uh, in the grass outside of the main area because there's a lot of strong enemies here, especially the hands that I don't really fancy fighting right now. I don't think it's that much fun. I hate them, to be honest. But there's a good deal, it's a good amount of awesome items that you can find around in this map, in this part of the map, especially uh, the Carrion Slicer and the Sword of Night and Flame, which I love a lot. Uh, and I'm using Reavers of Blood here. And do you know why? Because Reavers of Blood is obviously awesome. It still is awesome after all the patches. And um, so, so uh, we're just gonna run straight up here. And then we're gonna come out to some kind of a bridge, not bridge, but uh, uh, on on the wall here. And I think it is if you walk to the left here, we're not gonna do that. You're going to find a sword of night and flame. I think it's left, right, and right, something like that. And I'm just skipping basically all the enemies because I can, and it's much more comfortable to do so. You might want to experience uh, this map for yourself, all the different items and all the different kinds of doors to open. There's even a painting that you can find. It's a lot of different stuff up here. Um, it's, uh, it's a very, very nice area to find items on. So we're just going to run past all this, and then we're going to continue up this road here. And if you're wondering what armor I'm using, I'm not really sure right now, but if you're really wondering, and you can leave a comment on it and I will check it out and see exactly what armor I'm using. It's obviously the various white mask uh, that I found at Mogwin, uh, Mogwin Palace. So here is a part that I haven't done yet. You can see this one uh, is not taken. And I actually like Carrier Manor a lot because it's hard, but it's not too hard. I mean, you obviously get here quite early in the game, or you can choose to do so. Here's a, uh, yeah, golden seed. And the wolves are quite annoying, and they're very fast, so I choose to kill them, because otherwise they're just gonna haunt me down and hit me from behind anyway. So now we're almost at the boss, and uh, we're gonna just run straight here, and you're gonna find this big guy with these small guys. I mean, this big giant guy that you found just before you fight Margit in the beginning of the game, that one. And we're not gonna fight him because well, we're gonna take down this wolf. But we're not gonna fight him because he's strong and he's annoying and we might die and that's not good for this guide. So therefore we're not gonna fight him at all. We just run straight past all these annoying enemies, roll a little bit, and then we get hit one time. And up here you have the boss, Royal Knight Loretta. And I'm not gonna be showing you the whole fight because, I mean, who wants to watch a whole fight of a boss? Uh, that's, I mean, it just is what it is, right? Oof, 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 he's so scary, that guy! So now then, on to the fight itself. Here we are going to start hitting it, and then I'm just going to skip to the last hits, and I'm going to show you what items you get when you kill this boss. They are quite good, actually. And from here, you can also walk and find, uh, find a larva tier. I have a video and a guide about that. And I have a lot of different guides here on my channel if you're wondering where to get stuff and where to go and such. Loretta's Great Bow and Ash of War Loretta Slash.